After her parents raised her around wild animals, the real-life Mowgli has all grown up. When you think about it, each of our childhoods was filled with wonder and playfulness. As kids, we are all curious and always learning about our surroundings. We would spend time at the playground where fond memories were made. But this girl named Tippy Degri spent the first 10 years of her life somewhere you would never guess. Yes, she literally grew up in the wild. So since she was raised in the jungle, what she grew up to be was definitely something interesting. To grow up in the wild is something we only see on the television screen. Although most of us may have dreamt about it, you would not necessarily find anyone who actually experienced it. Well, there is one exception. Her name is Tippy Degree. She is a little French girl who went on to spend her early youth in Namibia, Africa. So how come this girl grew up all the way here and not in her native land of France? Well, you see, the little girl's parents had careers that were a little unconventional. Working as wildlife photographers, they would often click unbelievable photos of Tippy next to all sorts of wild animals. Their baby girl would often pose right next to massive elephants and even lions. Most of us have memories of running around with our friends at the park or at playgrounds. We would often play games and also hide and seek with our friends in the neighborhood or the park, but not this little girl, Tippy. She was actually running through the jungle and would spend time with her friends. Mind you, her friends were not humans. We are led to believe that wild animals are a threat and that we must always avoid them. But as crazy as this sounds, Tippy was not afraid of these wild animals at all. She would spend time and run around with the animals that lived in Africa. She actually enjoyed her time with them too. This might be hard to believe, but just check the photos her parents took of her. So if you thought that we were exaggerating about the fact that this cute French girl was pals with wild animals, have a look for yourself. She actually hangs out and gets affectionate with the animals. Her parents would always click pictures such as this, and this clearly shows us Tippy is a special girl. She was right from birth very comfortable with the animals around her. Just think for a second. Science has led us to believe those wild animals have wild instincts that urge them to attack or harm others around them. But the mere fact that these wild animals, such as this spotted cheetah, also love to be near and around her shows that Tippy is indeed some sort of Disney princess. The following photos will make you drop your jaw. The more you look at the photos that Tippy's mom and dad have clicked, the more you will realize how special she is. They are evidence that she shares a special bond and comfort with the animals that were living around her family in Namibia. After all, have you ever seen a little girl being carried by a wild African elephant on their trunk? Tippy is a lucky girl because she gets the chance to spend quality time with the animals that she loves very much. It is even more amazing because the animals also give the love right back. It was such a unique bond, and her childhood was something we only read about in books and watch on movie screens. Even her parents were among the people who were shocked. So since their beloved daughter was so involved with wild animals, how did her parents feel about her behavior with them? Well, Tippy's parents felt truly blessed to be able to spend all their time in Africa when Tippy was growing up. They were glad to see that she adapted really well with the environment. Her parents were not sure how she would react. We all know that parenthood can be tough, and while most parents end up with a job in factories and shops, Tippy's parents were able to enjoy the experience of a lifetime and have their lovable daughter with them everywhere. They could travel and grow as a family together. One of the perks was also the fact that her parents could take incredible photos of Tippy and her wild friends. There was one other thing that happened to this magical girl during her family's time in Africa. It was not just the animals who showed her love and affection. There was another noticeable incident regarding Tippy's experience in Africa. There was something about Tippy that made the locals accept her. She was not seen as an outsider, she was rather celebrated. If you have ever read about African history, you would discover that most African locals do not necessarily accept anyone. They do not want to share their culture with outsiders and would especially deny any access to their celebration events. 
but Tippy would receive a pass. Something about her made the African locals connect and identify. So after spending the first few years of her life in Namibia, it would have definitely left a mark on the girl, right? Well, although 10 years have passed since Tippy lived in Africa, the girl still remembers her time there very clearly and wrote a book based on it. She can still recall the wonderful time she spent with the animals and how the locals would often invite her for their celebratory events. So for someone to live in the jungle and hang out with all kinds of animals, it would be hard to forget the experience. So what did Tippy decide on doing? Well, she has now penned all her adventures down in a book called Tippy, My Book of Africa. All her extraordinary stories of the wonderful time she spent in the wild have been included here. Growing up, we were all fascinated by the animals we see on channels like Discovery and Animal Planet. We would dream about spending time with these animals and let our imaginations run wild. And while the majority of kids her age would be at home watching animated movies like The Jungle Book, for Tippy, it was her reality, her everyday life. Even though there might be people who are skeptical about this little girl's bond with the wild, but all the pictures are clear proof that it is not a hoax. She can clearly be seen touching and playing with animals that most of us consider harmful. How many little girls would be willing to sleep right next to a baby lion? It was 10 years ago, so the possibility for Photoshop or altering is also out of the question. As kids, we all wish to have the biggest playground where we're given the liberty to do whatever we want. To explore and go on adventures was the only thing that we would dream about every day. And lucky for Tippy, she did not even need any special playground. She did not have to look for a place to play hide and seek because the whole jungle was her playground. And on top of all, even kids get rejected by their peers. As humans, we often choose the people we hang with. Even at a young age, Tippy did not even have to worry about fitting in because the animals were all in love with her. She did not even have to look for other kids. Tippy would befriend an ostrich and ride around Africa. This experience is something none of us could relate with. And indeed, that jungle was a place where there were little to no kids around. And to be quite truthful, Tippy did not have so many people to play with when it came down to humans her age at the jungle. This would have definitely been a huge problem for most kids, but not her. You see, she did not have issues because the wild animals were enough for her. Since she grew up in the jungle, she was not aware of how a human kid was supposed to behave or what they enjoy. Tippy had a special upbringing where every day was an adventure that most of us only get to watch or read about. The other kids in the big city must have had their own versions of fun. But how was she to know? She was still content with her friends from the jungle. So how did her parents take all this experience? Surely they must have sometimes been scared and fearful for their baby girl when she got too close to the animals. She was a lucky little girl. She lived in the wild until she was 10 years old. It was just the three of us along with all the animals. We did not have much contact with other people, explained Tippy's parents. There are some folks who believe that the parents were foolish to keep their daughter so close to danger, that they would not have been able to help if the animals unexpectedly snapped. So do you agree that her parents were irresponsible to keep her exposed to tigers and elephants? Should they have been more aware of the fact that something tragic could have happened? For someone who has never been in the wild or rather spend time with this family in the wild, it would clearly be easy to point fingers. Tippy's parents were criticized for keeping their baby girl in the face of so many vicious animals. But although Tippy's life seemed to be in danger in some of the pictures, this could not have been more inaccurate. For someone who by chance came across these photographs of Tippy posing with animals of the wild, it must be easy to judge, but her parents say every photo they took of Tippy, the animals in the frame were tamed. It was not random animals that they spontaneously placed their kid with. They were residing with some locals there, so there were always people around. And since Tippy's parents were wildlife photographers, they had work to be done, and also, even though their primary job was to click photographs of the African nature, there was something else that they found way more interesting. This was not their main focus because they had another subject that proved to be even more interesting. So what distracted them from doing their main job? Well, obviously the parents enjoyed taking pictures of their daughter more than anything. 
everything else seemed a little duller than their lively and innocent daughter who could easily befriend the animals around them. But yes, to see a kid on an ostrich or with lions is something any unaware person would fear. We have all watched shows where people interact with animals. Humans have a fascination of anyone who seems to have a higher connection or bond with animals of any sort. And the fact that Tippy's place of upbringing and childhood was with the wild animals, her photos going viral was definitely not a huge shock. It was bound to happen. And since her parents had always enjoyed clicking their daughter, making her pose with animals like lions, cheetahs, and elephants, Tippy was a natural in front of the camera. And so slowly by slowly, it appears as though Tippy had fallen in love with the camera lens. So after a few years passed and the tiny French girl grew up, she ended up with a job that was quite fitting. Anyone who has been in front of the camera for so long gets comfortable eventually for Tippy, since she had been pictured with animals ever since she was just a little girl, she became a natural in no time. And by the looks of it, Tippy enjoyed being in front of the camera lens. Why do we say so? Well, after growing up, she is now an actress. So what kind of acting does Tippy do? Well, she did not go and land roles in movies or such, but she had a show called Around the World with Tippy. As the name suggests, this was a show Tippy did when she was a little younger. It was a show that aimed in teaching children important stuff about wild animals, which was indeed a topic that Tippy was familiar with. And so living in the wild, Tippy was introduced to a lot of animals. She was given the chance to spend time with a variety of exotic animals, and out of all these animals, she used to play with her favorite animals to be around are frogs. There was a good reason for this. Tippy really enjoyed how calm and friendly frogs are, and to see them hop around always cracked her up. The more you think about it, the more you realize how amazing this little girl's life is. There would not be a long list of people who had a better childhood than Tippy. This is a fact. Where in the world or in history can you find a kid who had tigers and elephants waiting for them to play with? There is just no denying that her life as a kid was magical. After spending 10 years of her life in Africa, the time came for Tippy and her parents to leave the place they called home. Now, after Tippy grew up, she would occasionally visit Africa whenever she get the chance. It was impossible for her to forget about all the adventures she had in Africa. When she goes back, she feels like she's transported back to her childhood. And we must all learn from this incredible little girl who absolutely adores nature. From Tippy's story, we must remind ourselves that nature truly is beautiful. Tippy was able to soak up everything that Africa has to offer. And she was just a toddler. She bonded with the animals and even the people there, learning about their culture and customs too. So whatever happened to the little girl? How did she go on from such a wonderful childhood? Just look at her now. This is how she looks now. Can you believe this is Tippy today? Tippy has now all grown up and does not really look like the girl in the photos anymore. We hope that her future plans work for her and that she continues to be a successful actress.